So we're going to start cleaning the CNP press after printing. We've got ink on the disc, we've got a chase locked up with a polymer plate, and tympan on the platen. First thing we will do is remove our chase and set it aside. Now we're going to strip the platen. We'll take all tape, our packing material, our tympan, and we'll put away whatever registration tabs we're using. In this case, they're small foamy tabs. So we'll put the backing on them to preserve the adhesive and then place them in the bowl. Carefully remove all the tape, any tape that you've put on there, and if you happen to notice any tape off to the side, there's a little yellow piece you'll see there, take that too. Best to leave the platen as clean as possible. That packing material in Timpan is not worth saving because it will have an impression from whatever it is that we've just been printing. So, basic vegetable oil and a gray rag. Never apply the oil right to the disc, apply it to the rag. We're doing this in real time so that you can see that it doesn't take very long to do this, but you do have to do a good job because any ink you leave behind here will affect the next person printing, and the next person printing may be you. So if your rag gets a little too saturated, open it up, find a clean spot, add a little bit more oil. Different colored inks are going to stain more aggressively. In the case of this rhodamine red, that pink color really sticks around. So you want to get to a point where it's almost entirely gone. And now we move to a clean shop towel and a couple of sprays of Simple Green right on the disc. And now we're going to remove any residue from the vegetable oil and the ink that was left behind. This ensures a nice, clean, color-free surface from whoever comes next. Now, if we were to leave the disc like this, having been cleaned with a water-based biodegradable cleaner, such as Simple Green, we run the risk that we'll get some sort of rust happening. So we apply a, just a couple of drops of vegetable oil back onto the press. At this point, it's not cleaning the press, it's just protecting it from oxidization. It's like seasoning a cast iron pan. And our disc is done. Next I'm going to position the rollers. In this case I've only got two rollers on the press up into the center part so that I can get at them more easily. This is fussy work. Those little holders are spring-loaded so you have to watch your fingers. And of course the rollers are covered in ink. So carefully extract the first one and set it aside, and then the second one. Gloves on are a good idea at this point, of course, because you'll end up with ink on your hands. And any rollers you've used go into the little holder and pop the sign on top. So bringing our inky rollers over to the cleaning station, we are going to stick a single sheet, folded, but not a whole newspaper, underneath the rollers to protect the holder from the cleaners that we're going to use. Just makes it easier, it's less stuff to have to clean. Cleaning the rubber rollers themselves is very similar to cleaning any other roller, with a couple of exceptions. We're always using new or almost new light gray cloths and soy clear. Both of these things, the soy clear and the cloths, will be found near the rollers, near the CNP press, but more on that later. So we start spraying on a healthy amount to our rag, and then we use the rag to clean. You don't, you don't apply the cleaner directly to the rollers because you'll end up with it all over the newspaper on the bottom and wasting it. Doing this in the holder is so much easier than trying to do this holding the rollers individually. Here you can see my left hand is slowly rotating these rollers so that my right hand can zip back and forth across and remove the ink. Once the particular spot on the rag is saturated, find a cleaner spot, apply a little more of the soy clear, and continue. Remember that note I said earlier about different inks staining? The rhodamine red in particular stains, and you'll see a bit of pink showing up on those side white things. Those things are called trucks. So do both rollers, or if you're using all three rollers, you do all three rollers at a time until such time as not much ink is coming off anymore, and then it's time to move on to the subsequent steps. You'll find all of these steps 
on a sign just above the CMP press area, but this is almost the same as any rubber roller cleaning. The only difference is here we're using soy clear instead of biodiesel. So now we go to a clean shop towel and the rest of the steps look the same. Here's roller cleaner, soap and water, a couple of sprays on each of the rollers and back and forth. I have a fairly strong grip with my right hand on that roller and my left hand again is just slowly rotating a little at a time so that I go around the roller surface at least two, maybe three times. Now's a good time to hit those trucks. Next step will be vinegar, same thing, and then simple green. Once we've finished the final steps, we can lift up our roller and make sure that the ends are clean. Now those trucks are much cleaner than they were before, but they're a little bit stained and that's okay. But I'm going to want to try to wipe them as well as force my clean shop towel right onto that edge there. I want to make sure that there's, there's any ink hanging around, I get rid of it. The reality of using these rollers on the letterpress is that we don't have globs of ink on there, so typically there's not much around the corners. But that being said, it's best to ensure that they're clean. Here's my third roller, which I didn't use. I'm going to sit that back in the holder, throw out my bit of newspaper, and then put these rollers back into their storage area next to the CNP. Here's my polymer plate, and it is attached to my base. So I can start with that same rag, and it has plenty of life left in it, and a small amount of our soy clear again not nearly as much. There's almost no ink on this plate, to be honest. And then using a very light touch and skimming across the surface quickly, I can remove almost all of the ink quite easily. I don't push hard. These plates, as well as type, tend to kind of grab at your rag or your shop towel and tear it up. So, repeat with the shop towel, and then a little spray of Simple Green on top. Same thing. and we're almost done cleaning. Using one of these rounded spatulas, I can pry away the piece of photopolymer and set it aside. Give the base one more little spray and a wipe and it's ready to be put away near the rollers. And if I want to keep this plate and use it again, I'll take my bit of backing and stick it to the back of the plate, put this plate somewhere flat, dry, and ideally out of light, and it's ready to be used another day. My little spatula goes here. The soy clear goes up top, and if the rag has any life left in it, I fold it and place it under the rollers.